Good day, YouTube. We have Fedora 33 on the left and Ubuntu 20.10 on the right, so grab your stein of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so starting off, we have Fedora 33 on the left and Ubuntu 20.10 on the right, both latest releases. Now, starting off, I would say Ubuntu 20.10 is actually based on Debian. It's a very common uh, distribution there. And then Fedora is actually based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, the upstream uh, environment there, so the latest and greatest. Now, uh, they are both point releases, so you will get updates every six months for each of these, a new version, essentially. And uh, so the, the desktop environments are the same, but different, I would say. So they are both based on GNOME 3.x, but uh, Ubuntu indeed does have its own variety or version of it, uh, a little bit customized in-house. So it's got the, the bar on the right-hand side. Just feels and looks a little bit different. In fact, Ubuntu is my daily driver, so it is quite a, a good operating system, I find personally there. We'll find that the file managers are also the same there. I mean, they are a little bit customized to look different. I do like the, the look and feel of the Ubuntu one there, but uh, essentially much of a muchness for those ones there as well. The kernels for each are a little bit different. So Fedora being the, the upstream uh, release for RHEL, it does mean that it is the latest and greatest for the most part. A very, very uh, recent kernel indeed, 5.10. Whereas Ubuntu is still fairly cutting edge, but not quite as much, 5.8. Something to bear in mind if you've got really, really, really uh, modern day hardware, graphics cards, CPUs, especially an AMD CPU for that matter there. Having a quick look at the RAM utilization. So this is where things start to get a little bit different. You might say that Ubuntu is a little bit more optimized in nature, but you are sitting at about 900 megabytes to a gigabyte of RAM for Fedora just on boot up, just without anything else loaded up there. Whereas Ubuntu is a little bit nicer on the RAM usage from boot up there. So it's only using about 650 megabytes of RAM, which is really nice to see. Something to bear in mind, depending on the computer that you wish to install these on. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see you guys there in the next one. Cheers.